Hey folks, how are we this evening? Ah, a little more more progress, I guess. We're a little closer to starting on our basement. I'm hoping to get the backhoe in on maybe Saturday, maybe Monday. I'm not sure yet. The fellow is just here this evening and he figures it's drying up so we should be able to start digging soon. Heather and I went and picked this up this evening. 21 sheets there. Our house is 24 by 28. There's not gonna be much overlap there. Maybe a little bit because we're not going all the way out to the footings, that will be rebar. 21 sheets of this four by eight uh, mesh here for in our floor. That's, we got that tonight. Just went and picked that up. And uh, a fella stopped by uh, and I'll show you what he made Heather and I. I think it's really beautiful. Anyway, that's how it's looking after all that rain. Not too, too bad. I think once we get our tile in and our gravel in there, that's going to look a lot better. I want it, We're going to dig that down probably a couple more feet. I think that's what we're going to do. We're discussing that. Maybe two more feet we're going down. We want a good ceiling. The fellow made is this. I, he's a very, very good craftsman. He's a local craftsman, and that's, that's who he made, Heather and I, and he brought it in. I think that's very, very nice of him. Very appreciative. Yeah, and uh, also have something else inside too. I will show you in a few minutes. Uh, was sent to us from Tony and Natalie Hammerlink and the two boys uh, for Heather's garden, our garden, I guess. Yeah, and I uh, will show you those. I just wanted to give you an update on this. It rained yesterday here like crazy, and the day before, so nothing really happened there. Even though the rain we got, like we got, we were supposed to get 30 millimeters of rain, I guess, but I don't think we got that. Might have been close, but I don't think so. Anyways, that's that's all it got to there. It, it gets away fairly quick, other than where I rutted it up down there. Uh, that's, that's about as uh, much water that stays in there. And once you get my tile, see a lot of it runs right in here. <clears throat> runs right down through here. Runs in here. And goes down so I'm hoping once we get this all dug out get our get our weeping tile in here get our gravel in I'm hoping the water will hit that and get away before it lays there so that's the one thing we want to do um, I will also show you what uh, we were sent inside we did a video of opening the opening this somehow the video got deleted I don't know what happened to the video I can't find the video we did so I will just redo the video obviously we can't open it Sorry, Tony and Natalie, but I will show you, uh, I'll show the folks anyways what you sent us, which we think is very, very nice. All right, folks. Anyways, uh, Tony and Natalie and the boys, uh, Hammerlink, they watch our channel quite a bit. They sent us this beautiful Canadian flag. That is a nice size, I think. It's beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I love it. See the, can you see the size of that? Um, here? Can you see that? Yeah. Grass yeah. besides it? Oh yeah. Now, that's not all. You want to see something, something else here? Yeah. Something just as From cool. his homeland, which is really cool as well, we were mentioning that we would like to get some flags to put up around here from different countries, and he is from Belgium. Look at this. Yeah, the awesome flag. Belgian flag. Yeah, Belgian, yeah. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that nice? So we're going to, Great. Heather and I are going to build some nice flag poles for each one mm -hmm. of these. We're going to mount it. But that's not all he sent us now. Oh, oh boy. Well, we'll fold them up in a little bit, okay? But, I'm going to come back over here again, I'll show you. This is netting. You okay, babe? Yeah, I just tripped. This is netting for our garden, and there's a lot of it. Now, I can't remember the size of it because I put the paper somewhere. Like I say, we did a video on opening, opening this stuff, and somebody <laughs> erased the memory card, and I won't say who that was, but it looks a lot like this guy sitting here. I'm not pointing any fingers. That's why there hasn't been a video about it. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. But anyways, this is beautiful netting for it over is. her garden. And uh, so we got, so he sent us this netting. 
I'm trying to think, was it 50 by 100? Does that sound right? I, I don't remember. Me neither. I'd be, I'd honestly be lying if I said I knew. It was large anyways. Yeah. And then these two beautiful flags. Decent sized flags. Too. Yeah, they're beautiful. <clears throat> so I want to build, Heather and I want to build a, a special flag pole. Yeah. For each of them. Yeah. For in the garden. Yeah. Pull these back up. We'll do a nicer job of folding them than me, obviously, obviously yeah. because, uh, you know, I'm not much for folding my clothes either. I'm, I'm spoiled. Heather folds my clothes for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we're hoping, excuse me, <clears throat> we're hoping to get at the basement very shortly. I went up today and helped. Heather's dad out today in Gauganda. I installed a window and a door while Heather and her mom went and visited her aunt. So that was nice. She wanted to get up and visit them for a little while and Heather's dad and I hung out for the day, which was pretty nice. And then we got home late. Yesterday, it just poured. Like it rained a lot. Uh, the day before too, right? It rained pretty good, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think so. I don't remember. It's been raining on and off a lot lately. Yeah. So, I mean, we didn't do anything then either. But, uh, we're hoping to get out of that basement very shortly. So, now the house, the house isn't going to get moved any further south than where it is right now. Because we can dig the basement out back. And then... So, we're going to get the basement... Doug, the guy's gonna bring in the back. We'll record that if he doesn't mind. If he doesn't mind, we'll put that on video. Uh, so he's gonna dig the basement. We're gonna put in our tiles, septic pipe, drainage tile, um, do our forms, rebar for the footing, mesh for the floor, and then we'll build the forms. We're gonna take these eight by eights that's 14 feet long, I'm going to remill those on the mill. I'm going to cut those down to two inches thick. So I should end up with almost four of them. They won't be exactly two inches thick with the, the kerf of the blade. So we'll end up with uh, eight all together. Eight, two by eight, 14 feet long. So that's enough to go all the way around the perimeter of the house with a little extra. Uh, so that's what we're going to use for our forms on the outside. The basement floor is going to be three inches thick, and the outside footing is going to be a lot thicker, obviously, for that. And uh, anyways, we're going to do our drains around the outside, our weeping tile around the outside, gravel over it, uh, dig the footings deeper, put our rebar in there, uh, mesh for the floor. The floor won't, floor is only going to be three inches deep, like I said. And then we're going to get the cement truck in. They're going to pour the concrete and. Heather and I will use the float, the bowl float, we'll level that out, and then I will rent a power trowel and we'll trowel out the, the concrete for the basement floor. Once that's done, then we start building our slip forms and we'll get a load of rocks dropped off, round rocks, and we'll start mixing up our concrete and we'll drop that in our forms, our slip forms. We're only gonna go two feet high at a time. Uh, we'll mix up some concrete, drop some rocks in, mix up concrete, drop rocks in, and we want to do that. Uh, I wanted to have the house on the basement by the end of June, but that's not going to happen. It, it, the weather we, and everything else haven't yeah. been cooperating. We had a lot to extra, a lot of extra little things that we had to do. And to, yeah, and yeah. then people here and everything. Yeah. So um, I'm shooting for the end of July. Even if it's the end of July, then we can still run our water in and stuff, and and relocate the panels. Um, I did make a deal on a post hole auger for the back of the tractor, so pretty soon I will be able to finish that building too. So I'm hoping we get, hoping we get the basement done and the house on it and the water in, in time to be able to finish that building out there this year. And that's our plan. Anyway, you folks take care and we'll see you in, day after tomorrow because I'm only going to do a video every second day from now on, folks, uh, because we are going to be busy. So. As you folks take care and we'll talk to you day after tomorrow. Bye-bye.